Are there any natural processes which eliminate nitrogen and phosphorus from the lagoon, or are they there until mechanically removed? Actually, there's a lot of natural processes. If you look at a normal estuary, uh, this balance, it's a fragile balance between fresh water and salt water, and by nature, they're very productive. It's why you see seagrasses, it's why you see great fisheries. Uh, plankton blooms, you know, are a normal occurrence um, in natural, healthy estuaries. Uh, but what we have is that we have over-neutrified the system. We put too much nitrogen, too much phosphorus into the system, and so it's overloaded the system. And so if you look at the last 10 years, back in 2011, and prior to that, for almost 10 years before, so figure 18, 1989 to about 2007, we saw seagrasses expanding, but we also saw what we call macroalgae, which is seaweed, expanding at rates that we now know were probably not natural. You know, they were taking up those nutrients and almost holding them like a sponge. And I don't know if any of you have had homes just on the shoreline the last few weeks and smelled the horrible smell. Uh, the wind has blown that seaweed up on the shoreline and, and it's rotting right now. And we are in that moment where those nutrients are going to be put back into the water column. And we are already getting reports of algal blooms in Banana River, although Banana River has been blooming all year. Uh, we're starting to see some of those spring bloom conditions. It's gotten warmer and, and it's light now and the sun's getting into that growth curve. And so we're back into a cycle where it's all churning up in the water column. And so it's trying to help itself, but without intervention, without us removing some of those base nutrients and removing some of those nutrients already in that legacy load uh, in that muck, uh, we will not see the system be able to naturally handle the current loads that are there.